Yo, this is the Pico Calc. It's a DIY kit with an awesome clicky keyboard, a really sharp color screen, and a powerful Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller at its core. Well, I'm Jay Blank, and today we're looking at a custom Rust firmware that turns this thing into a full featured SSH client. I'll walk you through the installation and your first configuration steps. This custom firmware comes from a developer named Wes, who is well known for a popular terminal emulator, WesTerm. This project is called PicoCalc WesTerm and it's written entirely in Rust. Think of it as a brain transplant for your calculator. We're swapping out its default operating system for a new one that transforms it into a powerful portable SSH client and terminal. This isn't just a simple hack, it's a complete transformation. But there's one critical thing to know, this firmware requires a Raspberry Pi Pico 2W as it needs Wi-Fi support and enough RAM. So let's get our hands dirty. The good news is that flashing custom firmware onto your Pico Calc is really simple and takes less than one minute. This is the standard method for loading new builds onto your device. First, make sure the device is off and then turn it over to the back. We need to access the little white boot select button on the Pico 2 W board. Now, this is a custom case from the user N602 that grants easy access to the Pico. But if you're using the stock case, you can gently press it with a paper clip or toothpick through the vents. So press and hold that button and while holding it, plug a data supported micro USB cable into the Pico itself and then into the computer. Your computer will automatically detect the Pico 2W as a new USB drive named RP2350. So now for the part that changes everything, head to the PicoCalc Wes Term GitHub page, go to the releases section, then go and click on dev. Now download the Wes Term PicoCalc.zip and then unzip the file. And there is our UF2 file. Now we just drag and drop that file onto the RP2350 drive. And that's it. The file copies over and the PicoCalc automatically reboots. You've just performed a complete firmware transplant. When the PicoCalc reboots with the Wes term firmware, the old screen is gone. And in its place, you'll see a clean terminal prompt. But before we can connect to anything, we need to tell it your Wi-Fi details. This firmware includes a simple config command to handle this. So first type in config format. And then hit enter. And now we're going to set the Wi-Fi by using config set Wi-Fi SSID followed by your network name without quotes. So we have config set Wi-Fi SSI, oh, SSID. My Wi-Fi SSID and then click enter. And now we need to do the same for your password using config set Wi-Fi underscore PW. Now for the part that makes connecting so smooth, setting a default SSH username. For this, we type in config set SSH underscore user and then your username. And now we need to do the same thing for the password using config set SSH underscore PW. 
So these settings are saved directly to the device's flash memory. So you only have to do this once. But we need to reboot to make sure these settings stick. So type in reboot and then click enter. And now this is the moment of truth. My Pico Calc is on and it's attempting to connect to my Wi-Fi. Well, now it's connected to my Wi-Fi. And since my Wi-Fi is set already, these next steps are extremely straightforward. So I have a Raspberry Pi 5 running on my network with the host name Jblanked Pi 5. So to connect, all I have to do is type in SSH Jblanked Pi 5. Jblanked Pi 5. Now notice I didn't have to enter my username because we already configured that. So we just hit enter. And just like that, we're in. We now have a full interactive shell session running on a remote machine right here in the palm of our hands. I can list files, check system resources, and even run terminal based apps. The latency feels great and the text is perfectly readable on this little sharp screen. There's also a few helpful commands such as bat, which shows the battery charging status and percentage. There is BL, which allows you to show or change uh, the keyboard and LCD backlight. There is boot cell. There is CLS, which will clear the screen. Um, there are different configs. You can use free to show the memory usage. You can use LS to show the contents of the SD card. And there's even a time command. Now, if you want to follow the development of PicoCog West term, make sure to check out the GitHub's page, which I left in the description below. And if you want to see more PicoCalc tutorials and project reviews, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on what's next. And just like that, with one file, we've given this calculator a whole new personality. It's not just a calculator anymore. It's a fully functional Rust powered SSH client that fits right in your pocket. We've taken the hardware and started to unlock its true potential, turning it from a simple gadget into a seriously useful tool for any tinkerers, sysadmin, or developer on the go. Well, now I want to hear from you. What would you build with this? What kind of servers would you connect to? Let me know your ideas down in the comments below. The link to the official PicoCalc West Term GitHub is linked in the description below. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.